Welcome everyone to my Minecraft Let's Play Survival Series. My name is Rowdy, thank you for joining me. And I have been looking forward to starting my own Let's Play series in Minecraft for a long time and I've finally got all set up. So here we go, we've just got a fresh world that we're going to be starting. And we'll just check that, we're going to have a random seed, so whatever we get, we get. Hopefully it's something sweet. I'm uh, hoping to build a base near wow okay we're in the in the snow tundra type it biome yeah I, I would like to build a base near a jungle or beach or something like that maybe even in some cliffs hello doggy how you going that's cool i like dogs we'll have to eventually tame some of them but um first of all we need to punch some trees a uh Pretty regular occurrence at the start of Minecraft. That's that's the best way to go. Punching trees to get some wood. Now we'll just um, knock over this tree, and then we'll get some uh, turn our wooden tree trunks into planks, and make a crafting table. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's annoying. Come on, get down here. Come on. Ah, jump it. Nope, it's not even going to give that to... what the... What's going on here? Ah, uh, something weird going on. Okay. Let's uh, grab our wood, turn that into planks. Very good. And now we just make a crafting table, like so. Boom. Okay. Now we want to make some sticks. Um, we'll make a... about 20. That should be plenty. Make ourselves a pickaxe. Like so. Actually, I'm going to replant this sapling. There we go. Um, we'll grab our crafting table. Beautiful. Alright, now, I wish I could tame you guys already, but I'm um, sorry, I don't have any bones for you. Now, let's see where we're going to go. Uh, what looks interesting? Let's go up here a little bit so we can see a bit, a bit more of the countryside. Ooh, pigs everywhere. We got to. We'll get some stone, make a stone sword, and then um, get ourselves some beacon. Okay, let's go over here. That actually looks pretty interesting. Is that a little cave down here or something? There's a cave there. That's how. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. You never know. We might even find some. Um, Iron down here, which will be a sweet start. Need some iron, some coal for torches, and yeah, that'd let us cook our pork chops. So that'd be sweet. So we're going to grab a fair bit of this stone for the, from the get-go. Um, yeah, I don't like building too many wooden like tools or wooden swords or anything like that. Uh, oh crap! Get out of here, man! I haven't even got a soul to deal with you. Oh. I'm going to have to kill you with my wooden pickaxe, really? Ooh, thank you. I need those resources. Pain of a thing is. Unbelievable. No, there's nothing down here. Okay. Let's, um... I should really make a sword after that incident there. Whoops. Put that there. That there. Make an iron sword. And I'll make an iron pickaxe as well. In, I mean, a... Uh, Iron sword, a stone sword, and a stone pickaxe as well, in case we come across any um, iron ore to mine. Because, of course, we can't mine any iron ore with just a regular uh, wooden pickaxe. So, this is awesome. We found some coal, so that'll help power our furnace. And we can, yeah, make some torches as well, which it will be very necessary if we're going to explore caves and um, to keep beasties from spawning near us. So that's a reasonable amount, like it's not the biggest vein I've ever seen. But hang on. I think we've got company. Where is he? Not sure. He's close, I can hear him walking now. Oh, hello fella. What's up? Oh, there's a friend here. Oh my goodness. Come on guys, I'm just trying to get myself some coal. Oh, take your friend out. Come on. Yeah. Let's just have a little look around here. Is there anything? It doesn't really appear to be any iron, unfortunately. No. 
Okay, let's just get this coal and get out of here, or I'm gonna get myself killed very shortly. Okay, sweet. Uh, how much? We have 14 cobblestone. I guess I can get some more easy enough up top. Oh, sweet, there's some stairs. Thank you very much, Minecraft. That's just where I was. Okay. Mr. Pig, can I please have some bacon? Thank you. Let's go get some more bacon. Yank. I don't even know if he dropped any bacon. He just dropped some bacon. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought that was strange. Let's go get some more. I want to wanna get a fair bit of food early on. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about setting up a farm straight away and you can sort of travel and be a bit of a nomad until you find a sweet spot to um, set up base camp. Oh. Alright, well I want to get these roses as well while we're up here because my plan, my thinking is anyway, is that I'm going to build like a, a castle and um, like a medieval style castle, maybe a couple of spires, that sort of thing and there's a lot of pigs around, my goodness. And um, I want the entryway to have like a great hallway and have red carpet running up the center of it. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, obviously, it's a long way off, so we've got to collect as much red uh, red roses as we can for dye to dye the wool, or to dye the sheep, and then hope shear the sheep. That way, we don't have to get so much. Okay, cool. Now we've got plenty of bacon. That's awesome. Let's put all this back here. I want to make four torches, just so I've got some, just in case I need to put some down. I'm going to make a furnace. Got to cook some food up pretty soon because I'm starting to get pretty hungry. All right, there we go. Put that there. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use wooden planks for this at the moment. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go up the top while well, it's cooking. Actually, how many wooden planks did I put in there? Oh yeah, I put the whole lot. That's okay. I was thinking just one won't get the job done. All right. We might, um, what are we, nearly at midday, sort of? We might go up on top of that hill, or we might actually go over there and look out from over there, see what's happening. Um, I'm going to go kill this pig while we're waiting for our food to cook a little bit. <laughs> this poor guy, he's just like, oh, I'm just stuck up here, this isn't fair. Just waiting for some adventurer in Minecraft to come along and kill me. Um, have I got, I got some dirt, here we go. Hey fella. How's it going? Yeah, I'm sorry. But a man's gotta eat. Okay, let's go back and grab whatever's been cooked up and then we can continue on our journey. What do we got? Oh, we got six. That's quite a bit. A bit more than what I thought. Um, let's take that out so it doesn't use up that. Is that gonna? That's not gonna cook another one. Is it? Nope. Okay. Let's have something to eat. Oh, man, that's good. Um, no, I'll save save one. I don't like to waste it. What the hell? Hmm. Thought I heard something. Okay. Let's make a stone axe while we're here. We need ourselves an axe. Cut down some wood. Um, I'll put that there and that there. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We need to... Where's the sun? Hmm. Wish I could find some sheep around and then we could make a bed. That would be awesome. But it looks like we're out of luck, so we're going to have to spend a night in, like, just a rough shelter. Probably just dig into the side of um, a mountain or something. So we continue looking for a nice place to build. Because I don't like the cold. I'm not going to be building out in the snow. Well, not yet, at least, anyway. I'll freeze my butt off over here. Oh. Sweet. Let's, um... I think I saw some roses over here. So let's... Yeah, let's go and get them. 
Ah, oh, sheep. Yes, you beautiful things. Come here. Unfortunately, guys, I've got no shears, so I'm going to have to kill you, which I really don't like doing, but... You know, man's got to sleep. That's not really a good enough excuse, but, you know, it's going to happen. Let's do that. Do that. Let's collect these roses before we have a sleep. This is really good. I'm happy that we've got all these roses here. It's, um... And the sugar cane, I've got to get that as well. I'm pretty sure I saw some more roses over here. Yep, yep, look at that. Beautiful. I haven't been collecting yellow ones yet. Mm, I don't really have any plans for well, using yellow dye, though I probably will collect some in the future. Um, Alright, now the sun is going down, so I'm getting myself. Um, let's just... Oh, that's iron. Yes. Let's um just get ourselves in here. Put a torch out here. I'm just going to build a basic little shelter. and not even going to worry about a door. I'm just going to dig this out. It's the 4 by uh, 4 by 4 a 2 by 2 square <laughs> like a little prison cell. Lock myself in. Nothing can get me and let's get a torch up. Sweet and crafting table please. And let's get our wool. I'm glad I've got enough wood. I actually didn't pay attention to, to how much I had, and that would have been annoying. Okay, there's our bed. Put that down. Sleep. Sweet. That is awesome. Okay, now here we are. Break this bed. And, uh, break some dirt. We've got to get that iron out there. That is awesome. Okay, let's put our furnace here and, um, try our coal cook up our raw pork chops while we're doing this. Okay, how much? I can only see two, <laughs> which would have let us made shears to shear the sheep, but, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sheep. I didn't mean to murder you. There's another red rose over there. Well, you know what? I'm going to go grab my stuff out of here. We'll grab that red rose, and then we'll continue on our... No, none of that. None of that. There we go. Continue on our journey. We'll get that torch back. Thank you very much. Um, what else do we need to make? Probably make another sword by the looks of things. I might make two. So I don't last very long. So that might be the way to go. Do that. That. I might hmm, make some a couple more torches. There we go. How's this going? Okay, so we got two of them. I'm going to save um, those two iron ingots. Like, I could make shears, but I'm not, like, I don't need that now because I've got my bed. Not for the moment, at least. So, if we come across just one block of iron for some reason, then we don't have to worry, like, about finding two others to make a pickaxe. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Now, let's um, grab this. How are they growing next to ice? Usually they break off. That was weird. Well, ten. Nice. Yeah, I, I love to collect sugar cane um, early on as well so that I can grow plenty of it. Um, that way... We might have some planes over here? No. That way um, I can get some paper manufacturing going pretty quickly um, to make uh, books. Which, of course, I will need to find some cows eventually. Um for leather, but, you know, one thing at a time. Look at all these sheep everywhere. Awesome. You know, if this wasn't so much snow here, I would uh, probably set up a little station over there, but, um, you know, it's a bit too much snow for my liking. So we're going to continue going basically east and sort of southeast type thing. Um, hopefully find something sweet. Hello, fella. Get your leather, thank you very much. Hello. He's like, no! Okay. Come on. Oh no, now I have to punch it. Come in. Ugh. Where's my other sword? That was... No. Poor, sh poor cattle. Like, uh, you know, what can you do? You need that leather. You gotta, you gotta get it. And they give me food. So, you know. That's, that's something. 
Got 16 stakes already. That's sweet. Um, I thought I saw... Yeah, there he's going. <laughs> he's like, nope, I'm out of here. See you later. I know what's going on. Whoa. Okay, I'll get these. I want to get as many cows as possible because, man, it takes ages to be able to make enough books to um, make lots of book shelves for your enchantment room, basically. Like, I want to be able to do level 30 enchants on my tools and hopefully get a Fortune 3 pickaxe. That is my aim. Because, you know, as we all know, when you come across those diamonds, they're pretty rare, so you want to be able to get as many... Hey, as many as possible. Man, that guy was being tricky. All right. Let's get some more cows. Come here. Don't run away, please. Well, I can't really blame you for running away, you know. I probably would have tried to run away in the same predicament. Madman rocking around killing all my friends. Your pigs are lucky, I tell you that right now. Lucky there's plenty of uh, cows around to kill him. Now, we've got 37 raw beef. 20 leather, that's a pretty good start. That's pretty good. Okay, let's keep going over to the east here. That looks like a pretty cool formation. We might get up the top of that mountain over there and be able to survey... Why can't I... Oh, got no food. And uh, survey their general area. Um, what else is around here? What I like about this sort of snow or tundra biome is that they have lots of roses, which is sweet. We need lots of roses. Mm -hmm. I will probably, at some stage, you know, I was thinking about it earlier, um, I would like to build like a snow um, castle type thing, like out of snow blocks and um, different things like that. that. I think that would be pretty cool. Be pretty interesting. Try not to burn it down. Maybe I can use la. Whoa! How did you. What are you. Oh. Why is there snow over there? There must have been ice under there. That was interesting. Yeah, so I, that's what I was thinking. Try and um, perhaps do that at some stage. That would be pretty cool. Make a little outpost out, out here, a winter fortress or something. Um, that would probably. Probably okay, but um, for now I want to focus on trying to work towards building the castle that I was talking about. And with the castle that I was thinking of, um, I'd like to build it maybe up against some cliffs or on top of a cliff, maybe. Depends what sort of area we come across, I guess. But um, I think that would be pretty sweet. And then, of course, you know, I'd build the walls, big walls around the outside of it and have, like... A farmland area out outside of the walls, like the sort of um, did in traditional medieval times. Have all the farmland outside. Well, so I think that would be pretty cool, and set up like a, a blacksmithing area and a like a stable type area we can make and that sort of thing in the in the inside the actual castle walls. I think that would be cool. Um, so that's the plan. So we're going to have to collect a lot, of, a lot of resources. That cow just fell down there. I'm gonna have to go down and get that. Oh, oh I fell down. Oh, what a noob! All right, this creepers. Oh no, be quiet, everybody. We don't want them to see us. You just stay over there, boys. I'll just quietly mine this. One is probably gonna sneak up behind me and kill me. I was just playing uh, regular Minecraft earlier today, actually, and <laughs> I was mining away, and a creeper blew me up. Like I was down there very, very early on. Like I, I enjoy starting new, new worlds every now and then, so I started a new one, and a creeper blew me up pretty much inside the first 15 minutes, <laughs> which was a bit of a pain, but it was funny, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah. So you got to be careful with those things. They're dangerous. Well, let's uh, put that there and that there. This coal, this is a good source. Okay, um, I would like to go down there, but a creeper, man, he's, he's just waiting for some new blood. Oh, man, why is there two of them? Come on, get out of there. Oh, yeah, see, the old tag team action doesn't work too well sometimes, boys. wonder if it's, oh, there's a skeleton. Let's put that there. How many? I've got some shots. Oh, bring me low. Just trying to find some iron. I can hear us. Oh, oh, whoa. Hey, fella. What are you... 
What are you up to there? I would attack him, you know. Oh! Come here. This one's gonna break. Okay, let's uh, get that out of there. Did you drop any string? Oh, man. Oh, there's iron down there. That's cool. Unfortunately, there's someone like you waiting there. <laughs> Blowing each other up. Idiots. Idiots! Oh, man. Come on. Get out of here. Get lost. Good. Okay, let's grab this quickly and get the heck out of here. Oh, nice. There's a nice patch of it. Yeah, I don't want to stay underground too long, while, especially while I haven't got much in the way of armor. Um, just get a couple of bits of stone as well. Along. Actually, I'll pick up all this. Or will I? Yeah, I can get back up easy enough. Oh, man. Torch down. So. Okay, I'll get this bit of iron. Man. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Whoa! Okay, um, flooding. Oh no, they just went to their sweet. <laughs> Let's uh, grab this coal. It's like OCD, man. If I see good resources, I gotta grab it. Come on. Let's hurry before. Some of those creeper friends come up and say, What the heck did you do to them? I'm like, I didn't do nothing, they blew themselves up. I'm like, yeah, a likely story. Alright, so let's get this coal and then we can. It's probably gonna be getting close to night time, so we might have to sleep fairly soon, I think. Oh! Oh! Don't do that! That's terrible! Terrible! What are you doing? Here? Oh no, I'm stuck down in a hole. He's gonna just shoot me. In. Get out of here. Oh, man. This is... I can hear lava. Alright. Well. I guess I'll take this on. You can't help it. It's good stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. We're getting beaten up. Oh, I got an arrow in the back of the lee. Oh, fine. Took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Uh, that's such a f f awesome game, Skyrim. I love it. Um, let's uh, sneak in here. Nothing. Okay. Whoop. Get up here. Okay, let's get out. Too dangerous. Yeah, and it is getting towards night time. Um, I'm gonna grab a torch. I'll leave that other one there. I don't really care that much. What the? Hmm. Okay, now it's night time, so it's only just gone night time, so let's um, murder this cow and then dig ourselves a hole in the side of the cliff. For protection. One, two, three, four. Oh, coal, nice. Um, where is my dirt? Okay, there we go, beautiful. Let's uh, put our bed down. Put our bed down, sleep. And then we get up in the morning, grab that coal, that will be awesome. Hmm, excuse me, I just had to grab a sip of that coffee. Beautiful. Keep me refueled and refreshed and ready to go. Okay. Let's, uh, grab this coal. This was such a lucky find. That was awesome. Oh, we're up to level 10. Nice. That is good. Oh, wow. Huh. <laughs> Dug to the outside. That's cool. Let's grab our torch. What have I got? Get out of here. Let's combine these two. Make a tiny little bit better one. Um, what am I missing? There was something... I'm not sure. Hmm. Now, oh, well. Let's, um... Keep going. Where's east? Is towards the sun that way. So let's, uh, there's ocean out there. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll chop down this tree. I need a bit more wood. A bit more timber. 
Since it's pretty sparse up here, you sort of got to grab it when you see it. Oh, there's pumpkins. Sweet. Oh, man. We'll go and get those. I love making some pumpkin pie. And then we'll farm them, of course, as well. I'll just grab this other tree along the way. Huh. There we go. So I haven't real Man, if we can ever get out of this snow biome, I'll... Uh, <laughs> actually be able to look for a decent place to settle. This is this is some huge snow biome. I had it on default and everything. I love how you can just run across the ice. And swimming in water. A bit too slow for my liking. Sweet. Okay, that's awesome. I'll get these roses along the way. How many roses have we got? Twenty six, that's a lot, so it's fifty two die. Yeah, so that's like majorly more than what we probably need but you know I guess we can plant some as like decorations or something around our castle okay sorry cows but it's leather making time come here hey fellas you see what happened over there yeah you did come here you two didn't look at you sitting around unbelievable hmm we must have a lot of steak by now. 59, wow. Okay, probably don't need much more steak. But, um, you know. What you gonna do? Sweet, alright. Now I have to, um... I get distracted really easy, like, I'm, you know, trying to get out of the biome, but, like, so many cows to kill and little caves to go in. No, oh, man. See, look at that. Let's, um... Uh, Let's go up here. Get these cows up. Oh man, so many cows. So much leather. Yeah, I think... How many books will we need? You need three books per bookcase, so... We want to be making quite a, a lot. Um, so yeah, all the, all the leather we can get will be great. Just saves us getting it later. I would like to. Uh, I would like to start a uh, a farm, like an animal breeding farm, so that way I can like make all the, heaps of chickens and heaps of sheep and cows and pigs, and um, that way, particularly with the sheep, then you've got you know your never-ending source of wool, which would be awesome, um, and chickens with food, of course, and eggs, but particularly. I want chickens for their feathers to make, excuse me, a lot of arrows. Okay, what's that? Hmm. We're still going, we're sort of going more south, I guess. What is this? Oh, somebody met their demise out here? Okay. Let's get these cows over here. How big is this? Let me bring up the map. Wow, okay, this just keeps going for ages. Unbelievable. We're just going to end up like sprinting um, for as far as we can in a minute. I'm just ignoring all this stuff. See if we can actually get somewhere. Get to something different. Let's go over here. i only got 19 swings of my sword left. I might save off on... I've got like 45 leather. So that's 45 books. So that's a lot. We'll um, leave it at that for the moment. We always know where we can come back. Ooh, apple. Nice. Know where we can come back to get more... More leather. Um, let's have a look. I want to get melons too, so hopefully we can find... Oh, hello. Wolves. <laughs> How's it going? Whoops. Um, yeah, I want to get melons, so hopefully we can find a abandoned uh, mine shaft and get lucky and find some melons in a chest. Um, that would be awesome. Oh wow, cool. We've got a ravine down here. Only a smallish one. It looks. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything good down there unfortunately, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, we've got another pumpkin. I missed. Okay. So let's uh, sprint. <laughs> and try and get out of this uh, thing. Hello, chickens. I love chicken. Chicken's probably my favorite type of food. So you guys are really lucky that I uh, ran past you there. 
some of your brethren may not be when I catch up to them in our new biome, hopefully. Maybe this world is just entirely made of snow, and we're just going to have to live in the snow. Man, just keeps going and going. But yeah, I was inspired to do this Let's Play by um, a couple of other YouTubers. Like, I, I always enjoy watching uh, other people's Let's Plays. Um, I just find it fun. It's really cool. Um, and I'm sure, you know, there are plenty, obviously, plenty of others out there that, that love to... What the love to watch it as well um so yeah the the two in particular that have inspired me first of all probably the first guy that i um really started watching and watched most of his or pretty much every one of his episodes uh was chimney swift 11 with his minecraft file series um so yeah i really really enjoyed um probably season well Lots of chickens. Probably the season with Tropicat, like in the Tropicraft um, mod. That was really cool. I liked that. Um, just because it was a bit different. I even tried out the Tropicraft, Tropicraft mod myself. So that was pretty fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I love what he's doing. Um, I prefer if he's stuck to survival, but I understand why he decided to go to creative. He's been doing a lot of content in survival, and you know, hopefully it refreshes him being able to do this. and in the next season we can look forward to survival because i'm pretty sure he's said a few times now that he's looking to probably go back to survival for the next uh, next series but i must say what he's built in this series has been really cool um so yeah i thought i'd uh, give a little bit of a shout out to him for uh, inspiring me to you know start my own let's play also very recently i uh, came across an awesome youtuber by the name of rendog he's <laughs> he's really awesome. He's a South African dude. He's living in London, I think, he said. And, um, yeah, I love his Let's mm. Plays. I just happen across him by chance. And, um, yeah, it's really, really fun. I'll put a link out to both Chimney Swift and Rendog in the description. But I'm sure most of you will know who Chimney Swift is. But um, Rendog, he's got nearly 50,000 subscribers. So if anyone wants to check out a really fun uh, uh, YouTuber, he's 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 really awesome. Has a good sense of humor. Um, so yeah, I like I like what he does. His builds are really really good. And it's um, really entertaining watching. I encourage you strongly to go back to season one and episode one, and start from the very beginning of his let's plays because you know you see him develop as a Minecrafter over then. I think he mainly played in um, creative mode before he did that. Uh, started his survival let's play so um it's pretty entertaining to watch him, him start and learn all the different things and uh new about occasionally as as we all do but um yeah it's pretty cool so yeah particularly those two guys um the ones that sort of you know i was watching i was thinking yep i'd like to just make a series i don't care you know if i only get one person watching or whatever like i'm not interested in you know getting a million subscribers or anything ridiculous like that. I just, you know, love the game and thought I'd um, make some content for it because I enjoy it so much. So hopefully we can find our way out of this ginormous snow biome. Let's have another look at our map. This is not going well. We're trying to run. It's turned to night time. Man, this is, this is something else. All right, got to build a get over here and get into the side of a mountain and have a sleep again man third night and still no other biome this is this is getting tough all right let's um go back in here put a torch up the dirt hovel now we're, we're slightly downgrading but you know desperate times call for desperate measures Put that there, that there, where's my bed? Come here. And place. I wonder if I'm going to get trapped in dirt. I hope not. When I wake up. Oh, sweet. Okay, now give me a torch, please. Okay, so what I might do, actually, thinking about it, I might pause the recording here. 
while we're running around doing not a great deal. Until I can find another biome, because this is insane, the amount, the size of this biome. Um, oh no, we're saved. Jungle, yes, I love the jungle. Okay. Oh man, starting to get so worried there, it's going to take about three years to find an actual different biome. But this is sweet, and it looks like... Is that just going to be a swamp biome, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, I've got to kill a pig. Thank you. Um, how much? we got a lot of food. That is awesome. Got to get this iron ore smelted down as well. So this is sweet. I'm so happy. Finally found a jungle biome. Hey. Ooh, this is cool. Cool little lake area. Wow. It's pretty awesome. I love the jungle and how they've designed them. It's one thing um, I'm really looking forward to with the Xbox version is when they finally introduce the jungle biomes. Um, that would be sweet. I mean, I hope they can figure out a way to increase the map sizes, of course, because, well, it's it's huge and, you know, you can spend ages building stuff. It's just, you know, that sense of, right, I'm going to leave everything behind, pack up and go and adventure out in this direction and just keep going. And you just can't do that, unfortunately, in the Xbox version. Um, but I do love using the controller. It's really relaxing just sitting back in the chair and you don't have to, you know, um, sit up to a computer desk or anything like that. But the computer version is by far the superior version. <laughs> it just has, has so much extra stuff in it. And, of course, you look around, this wonderful texture pack is possible as well. So... Things like that push the uh, PC version over the edge for me. But I am certainly glad that they've made it um, available well, on Xbox because then, you know, more people get a chance to play. And, you know, you've got split screens, so if, if you've got family members that want to play as well at the same time, you can just, you know, plug in another controller and go for it, which I, I think is really awesome. Uh, it's a really great feature. You don't have to buy multiple copies. You can just, you know, play play on the same Xbox. Um, saves a little bit of money as well, you know. You have to be uh, careful with our money in, in these days, so, you know, that's a good thing, I think. Um, right. So there's still a lot of snow around here. I like how there's, like, rocky outcroppings. This is pretty sweet. Like, maybe we can set up a base here somewhere? I know there's still snow there, which I'm sort of, I'm still not a big fan of building so close to the snow. Because all the rivers and stuff will freeze over, and mm, I don't like that. Look at all this exposed coal. This is a sweet find. I wish they had some iron for us as well. Um, okay, so let's have a bit of a look at our map. Hmm, We're going to head out towards the left of the map. It looks like there's some plains out there, so we might... Um, that's a sweet island. We might find uh, something a bit closer to what I'm after there. Hmm. That cave looks interesting. That's a... Wow, there's a... A lot going on here. That's a... Uh, be very careful. Oh, I haven't got much durability left in my sword. Let's uh, just grab this piece of coal. This is really sweet how the vines grow in the in the caves. So cool. Wow. There's okay, I'm I'm getting getting lost. Let's go back this way. The way we came. Come on, run. I need to eat some food soon. Glad we got all those uh, pork chops and steaks. Very cool. Oh, what's going on? Get down. But yeah, I do love these rocky outcroppings. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. And jungle trees, of course. Now, where did I... Oh yeah, over that way. Okay, sweet. Jump. Jump. I'll have to definitely chop down a whole bunch of these um, jungle trees and get their saplings so we can grow them in different, different areas. That would be awesome. So that they're, yeah, not only in the in the jungle biome. Oh gee, this jungle biome is sweet. Okay, we're finally, finally 
getting clear. Okay, sweet. There's some uh, trees. Let's get up here and see what we can see. Wow. Okay, now this is interesting. I like this. What? Lighting glitch. Come on. There we go. It's the only problem with these cliffs. Sometimes you, oops, you get um, quite a few lighting glitches, but now this is this is an interesting sort of area. How much? I've got plenty of space in my inventory. Let's um. Hey, buddy. I want, I want your feathers, actually. I don't just want. I got one. I'm gonna leave those guys alive, so hopefully they can repopulate a bit quicker. Hmm. Not quite sure. Like this is getting close to what I'm looking for with the the cliffs. A little bit of water would be sweet. Maybe we can build a moat. That would be awesome. Um, lighting glitch in here. Let's eat some food. Gonna have to cook up some more of our food very shortly. Oh, this is this is cool. I like the big open areas. Now, if we can get a nice sort of cliff encasing a, a fairly sizable chunk of land, that would probably be ideal for what I'm thinking with my castle. Um, let's have a look up here. We'll go to the top of the cliff up here and have a look. See what's going on. Oh, a forest. That is so cool. So we've got the forest, the jungle. We've got snow if we want to collect snow for, for anything. We've got cows and chickens, which are the two most important animals, I think. Got some lava over there. Yep. This is this is cool. I just got to settle on like a, a spot. Hmm. Kind of... Whoa, frame rate lag. Now, hmm, I keep thinking, hmm, hmm, whoop, man, we're lagging a little bit, so sorry about that. Okay, let's go over here. I love that little lava spilling out onto the countryside. It's pretty cool. Let's just um, hop around here. There's lots of caves around, which is always awesome for exploring. I like that. Let's go up here. Maybe this area down here might be ideal. Let's uh, just jump up the top here. Man. Well, okay, so there's a ravine, maybe, over there. Oh, sheep. They're another important creature. Now, let's, um... That's a pretty sheer cliff, but they're sort of... Hmm. You could have sort of like a build a quarry type setup out there. Have your castle in this sort of region, and then farmland. Well, there's hills over there, so maybe you'd have your castle, have your walls down here. You've got your quarry, and maybe we can do farms over there, or farmland, make the farmland out here or something. We've got plenty of forest, which is awesome. I might even make my castle over this side, maybe. Whoops. Let's have a look out here. I just don't want to fall in this lava. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? It's tough. Tough decision to make. I'm torn. Because uh, I, I don't want to start an allocation and not be, like, pretty happy with it, you know? Because that way you sort of start and then you're like, hmm, maybe I'm going to re uh, relocate and all this sort of stuff, so... Hmm. It is a sweet area, though. That's the thing. It's really cool. It's got everything I want, all the animals that I want. Caves, pumpkins. There's a ravine over there, too. I'm not sure. So let's just uh, jump in here, have a little think about it overnight, 
And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might let's get some dirt up in here. There we go. A bed down, please. Yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I, I think I want to do something in this area. I think I'm definitely going to stay here. Let's just make the decision. We've <laughs> we've walked for ages. So this is this is a sweet area. I love the forest. Love that there's a ravine over there. That's pretty awesome as well. Maybe we can incorporate that. We'll go and have a look. Hey sheep, how's it going? Um, what I might do is... Does that go through to there? Oh, how cool is that? We've got to make... Yeah, we'll make that there. Like something incorporate into our... Um, side gate perhaps to come out here and make this our farmlands and lead to the forest yeah that's sick i like that that is so awesome wow okay so this is and there's iron over there sweet oh yeah i am um I'm loving this this is this is this is good see all it takes is just to look at things from a different angle and you're like yep i'm sold uh this is this is how it's going to be so yeah that's that's definitely Oh wow, look at this. It's huge. Man, we're gonna get lots of resources from there. That is awesome. And we can incorporate this ravine into into our our build somehow. Hmm, I'll have to think about that, but um yeah, that is really, really cool. Alright. So let's get back over here. Um I wanna build like a little hut. How much Wood have I got? I've got 22 oak wood. Some spruce wood planks, that's a bit annoying. Okay. Let's grab some more trees and cut down this other one as well. Now I'm just going to make a basic little shack. Make some, um, uh, what do you call it? Chests. That's <laughs> Make some chests to put all my junk in and then we can um, start getting down to business and plot out the land and where we want to build and all this sort of stuff because yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited now I'm pretty pumped I found a good spot it's been worth it trudging around in the snow for so long so um yeah that's you gonna drop saplings guys come on I want to replant the, I don't want to just deforest the area I'm gonna replant these trees maybe it's just gonna to have to be nope there we go I got one sweet all right, um, put that there. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. One tree there, and then I forget where the actual trees were. So we'll. Um, that's annoying. That one there. That one there. Uh, this one. Not sure, but that'll do. Oh, there's an apple. Another one. Oh, wow. Okay, sweet. Got three. Awesome. Okay, let's go and build our little hut somewhere. I think. I think, oh, there's some roses, sweet. I think, nice spot for it. In the farmlands? No. Let's, uh, oh, what's going on here? Wow. Yeah, you be careful, fella. We don't want you falling down there. That's a long drop. You might uh, break a leg or two. Okay, so let's uh, go over this way. And this is where... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I was thinking of putting a quarry type thing, like not actually doing like any strip mining or anything here per se, but just building like so it looks like a quarry because it's it's almost there already. Like there's a f a bit of terraforming to do, of course, but um, build some buildings like a, a little um, a little hut where they can keep all their all the workers can keep all their gear and stocks, all that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I think I might build my hut up here inside where I'm going to have my castle. Because I think maybe, hmm, maybe I'll have coming out from this mountain. Since it's such a nice clean cut sort of thing, get get rid of a little bit of this. Just have like a, a big overhanging sort of tower type thing like that. Yeah, I, I think it might be a bit hard to picture what I'm imagining, but I'll have that there and then we can have our walls. Like we'll build 
some solid walls around where that gate is. Build the, the walls all the way out here. And maybe, let's just get up a little bit higher. Sort of like have a big a sort of spire around here with a guard tower. And run it across, straight across to there somewhere. Maybe down over to there. It's going to take a lot of materials, of course. But um, I think it'll be worth it. I think it's going to be really awesome. So, um, yeah, guys, I will... Actually, I was thinking of ending the episode there. It's probably been going on for ages, but I'll tell you what, I will make my little shack and then we'll finish off the episode. So let's um, let's uh, put our little shack here near some water. We'll put this down, put this down. What have we got? Well, I'm going to make a chest first, so we can a uh, double chest, so we can put some of our gear down. Whoops. Okay, there we go. I'll grab that. Now, sweet, I love that, hey, you can put the stuff on top of them now. Okay, so let's put some coal in there, leather, iron, actually, let's get the iron all cooking. We need to, need to get on it. Um, raw food can go, wow, how many steaks do I have? Wow, one and a half stacks of steaks. That is unbelievable. All right, let's put some of that oh, sugar cane. I'll have to get that growing as well. Put that away. Apple. Rotten. Well, I don't want that. It's gross. Put that away. Put that away for the moment. Dirt. Whatever. Cobblestone. We may use some of that in building our little shack. Wood. There we go. Okay. Apple for food. Sticks. That can stay there. Dirt. Well, you know what? Actually, just in case I need to, I'm going to grab it. All right, that's going good. Okay, now we will we will put our little shack um, about here. Right, come on. That's where I put a basic outline. Nothing too fancy, just, you know, a little shack. I'm going to obviously fill in the, fill in the roof. Um, jump, jump, come on. Go to set there. Okay. Okay, so that's my basic outline. I'm going to get rid of this bit here. Fill in these couple of holes. Um, which way am I going to go? I might put these along here. Um, I want to make my door here, so hmm. I'll put a door there, maybe. Hmm. Unsure if I like this, but I may change it. Um, we'll see. Let's fill this in. Put that there. Yep. Get rid of that. You know what I've done. I've put this too close. Well, you know. Let's just build it out here. I might fix this up off camera a little bit. <laughs> That's a bit ordinary at the moment, I must say. Uh, let's just do a flat stone roof. Just because we're running out of time. Beautiful. Now, I've got no glass, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'll put. I might just leave open windows. Put torches. Oh, get out. Put torches around. Put a torch inside. Oh, I've missed a... can't have that. Missed a thing. There we go. Where's our bed? There it is. And just make a door. Beautiful. And there we go. Our first junky little home. Pretty dodgy, I must say. I think I'm going to tear it down off camera and rebuild something nicer. But... 
for the moment, it has served its purpose in allowing me to have a place to sleep when the sun goes down and a place to store all my gear. Ooh, we have some iron. Very nice. I might be... You know what? Let's make our first set of iron tools just while we finish off. Iron pickaxe. Um, iron axe. What else we got? Iron sword. Definitely need one of those. Might make another pickaxe because we tend to do a lot of digging. And that will do. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you very much guys for joining me on this journey and we look forward to working on marking out where we want to build our massive castle in the next episode. Thank you very much. My name is Rowdy and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.